I had already booked in to have a mammogram, but just prior to going in, I'd actually felt a lump. It was quite high, right up in the in the in the um, shoulder. So um, I didn't think anything of it. I got a phone call a week later asking me to come back for an ultrasound and we were really busy at work at that time and I said to her do I have to do it right now and she said yes. When I got in there I had to sign a form to do a biopsy. I was the only one that did that that morning and I couldn't understand why at the time. I had only initially found one lump but there was actually two. I started to cry <laughs> and then I came out and my husband picked me up. My daughter was up here at the time, she lives in Melbourne and I had to put on this brave face I suppose and, and not say anything um, and then when I got home I, I just burst into tears and, and then I told them and um, my husband Stan said to me, it'll be fine. He said, you'll be okay and I went, no. I said, I already know. They had suggested a mastectomy. I asked him if my chances were high risk for the second side and he said yes they were. So I thought, well, I don't want it. <laughs> we're just going to, to take it away as well. And um, so we made that decision to have mastectomy for both. I'm now just waiting for six months or to the end of this year and then hopefully next year for reconstruction. But I have no more treatment. I'm on chemo tablets for the next five years. It was only probably two years before I was diagnosed that we decided to consolidate our insurance and go and to see an advisor at Suncorp, which was Elizabeth, who then matched our policies that we had, ended up being a lot cheaper than what we had, so we increased our policies to suit our needs at the time. The recovery policy was something I always wanted. Stan was a bit sceptical about it because he, he sort of thinks that nothing ever happens to you, but unfortunately it does. A lot of people don't go and do any sort of insurance, let alone recovery, um, and it's probably one of the most important ones that you should do. It just takes that weight off your shoulders and you don't have to worry about anything. And it was paid within 10 days or something after the claim went in. It was just amazing. The insurance money has meant that we didn't have to worry about paying bills. We didn't have to worry about um, anything um, except for me at the time because there's so much pressure when somebody's not well that it puts the pressure on the other person. I was just said to Stan, you need to take all that away from you and concentrate more on just the kids. I'm back at work. I've been back now for about six weeks. Yeah, thoroughly enjoying it. Obviously still waiting for reconstruction next year, but um, we'll just take that as it comes. Certainly realise life's too short. You need to obviously um, take things as they are when they come and uh, yeah, don't sit back. It doesn't matter how old you are, you should always have some sort of insurance policies. It doesn't hurt to go in to talk to anybody about anything because anything can happen to you. We do joke about uh, reconstruction quite a lot in the house. Yeah, my daughters tend to have uh, digs at me now telling me that they're bigger than I am. When reconstruction comes along, yeah, then it'll be me that'll be laughing. <laughs>